You know, I wish I could ditch the stupid camp too, but unfortunately, we cannot. So, today is not going to be very eventful. We're just going to be doing a Hermit rank up, but I should mention that these plot events that are going to be coming up soon, you want to have a Chariot and a Priestess persona for them. And today we're actually going to go to Old Man Daidara, because he actually has a quest for us. So he's asking about Inaba Trout. Well, we haven't fished yet, but we do have one. I love it when you accept a quest and then you already have what you need for it. So, in the guide, I always found this part confusing because it said, um, give the old man an Inaba Trout, and then it says, obtained Inaba Trout. I'm like, what? Do you just give it to him and then he gives it back to you? But actually... That man can somehow use the forge with his mind, because he didn't move at all. We get an Inaba Trout themed weapon, and it's for Yosuke, because of course it is. So Yosuke can now engage in the ancient art that is the fish slapping dance. Yosuke has a lot of really silly looking weapons. Again, it's Yosuke, you really shouldn't be surprised. It's actually pretty strong for this point in the game, and it has Evade Fizz Medium. However, I don't know if I'll give up the plus 40 SP for that. That's also really effective. And I said this before, but I'll say it again. You can't catch bugs during rain, which is really, really frustrating. So I feel like it's one of the few things that you'd be able to do on, on a lot of rainy days, but yeah... No bugs. I've already stockpiled quite a few. We are going to be fishing eventually, but yeah, not for a little, a little while. And yes, trust me, when we do start fishing, I'll have some comments on how that works. If you want, you can change the channel. Um, it's Tanaka. He's going to put subliminal advertising in our brains. Yes, maybe it might be a good idea to change it. It is possible to do this before doing just a rank 4, so yeah, it can either be taken as a reference to that, or that can be taken as a reference to this. Unless this only happens if you um, do just a rank 4. I don't know, because I seem to remember that this was doing? in the original game. While Jester wasn't. There are a few implications that Yu Narukami has a bit of an interest Yo. in magic tricks. But today is a very ahem, special day. While well, I get the feeling yours isn't really much of a motorcycle. You once promised that I would, yes, earlier this month. Oh boy. Oh, Yosuke, yeah, considering that you're Yosuke, this is this is going to be this is going to be a show. No, it's not at all. Here we have to pick up trash, listen to you ranting. Uh, 
and yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I find this question really weird because, well, I mean, admittedly, none of these really make sense. I think it's a lot more than just this, but this is the closest thing we've got. Of course, I partially know morale as the thing that gets your units destroyed in Warhammer. Um, yeah, that's kind of a Captain Obvious statement. I mean, granted, Moroka thinks everyone has bad morals, so... <laughs> yeah. And speaking of people lacking morals... Kina Station. That was easier than I thought. So before we begin these crazy events, I just want to say they are all golden exclusive. He actually followed us all the way here. What did you think? He chased down a whole bike gang like that. <laughs> that was a breeze. Also, our first time seeing Kanji in his summer outfit. A sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. That's true. If I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Like, right now, I'm just mostly focusing on whether or not Kanji's tattoo is real, or just like a... You know, one of those, like, temporary ones they do. But someone did point out that his eyebrows are a different colour to his hair, which is a hint that his hair is dyed. It's kind of a stereotype of delinquents in Japan to dye their hair blonde. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okina, uh, there, there's this craft shop? It, it's nothing, I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Then why'd he come with us? Well, you know, the craft shop, and also I get the feeling that he's gonna be more successful doing that than you'll ever be just standing in front of that thing. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. <laughs> yeah, not so, um, summer of youth now, is it? Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? Nope. This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. <laughs> yeah, obviously this is all Yosuke's fault. It is? Wow, I can't believe you said that. You're the one who came up with the plan. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well... It's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes! There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one, a scooter's the best I can do! Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys! This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? That doesn't make any sense. 
I mean, after the day we've had, it's us who should be avenged. You clearly do not know Yu Narukami's natural charisma. Now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. <laughs> yes, um, there's a problem with that. that. Sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. <laughs> you chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Okay, well, um, maybe we should throw this just so that, um, people don't have to see that. Only girls count for this, alright? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! So, welcome to Operation Babe Hunt 2.0, the babening. There's a few people around here that we can talk to, and there's only a few that are important. There are actually a few stat increases to get here. Some of these people, though, will end up leaving after a while. I know there's one person who has a really funny set of lines. So, hi there. I still love that you have this option. Okay then. Yeah, this is the girl I was thinking of. It also kills the Reaper, so maybe you have a point. I'm getting Persona 3 flashbacks here, this doesn't sound good. Um, does joining a cult count as getting someone's number? Well, yep, that didn't go well. No number. And let's see how Yosuke's doing. <laughs> yeah, Yosuke is already failing pretty hard. Meanwhile, Kanji... Kanji's a unique kind of gangster. He finds you in a dark alley and then he repairs your clothes. I believe you also get some pretty good dialogue if you talk to the policeman here.
yeah, let's let's not do that anymore. So these two people talking here are important to talk to. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, we're getting further with them than we got with the others. So, if you say Inaba, they say something pretty funny. Yes, that is an Animal Farm reference, which I know because I studied that in high school and I actually really enjoyed it. Believe it or not, this is actually why, I, as tempting as it is to choose the first option, this is the reason why we did this. It gives you a courage boost. Yes, by finding out that they are complete jerks. Because we're doing a competition, and could you please just give me your number? Um... Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I think we should run. This has not been a good day for you, Narukami, has it? So, anything here as long as you don't say that you're a high school student? Um... Please tell me that you're not another cult person. Okay, we're going to have to come up with a lot of fake answers here. Um, uh, why do I get the feeling that isn't quite... And this is actually what you have to say here to get another boost to courage. Um, um, uh, this is another person I think we should run away from very fast. Would have said that earlier, but we would have missed out on the courage increase if we did. You know, I get the feeling not getting your number was for the best. Oh, and she's still here. Okay, then. So, we need to talk to this girl here to end this whole segment, but I think there is one more... Oh, wait, no, no, there's one more thing we can do. This is very easy to miss. This can't.
does that count? Um, maybe? I don't know. It's the most success we've had here, I guess. But yeah, it's an expression boost. There's one more person we can talk to here, but... Okay, I don't really want to do this because, yeah, I find it pretty creepy and just, yeah, disturbing. There's one admittedly funny thing in it is that Yu Narukami starts speaking fluent Spanish out of nowhere, which I think is perfectly in character for him, but I'm just gonna not go there. This is the person you have to talk to to end this whole sequence of events. Do this once you've got all three stat increases. Although I actually think there's one more group of people that we could talk to, and that's these two. Um, doesn't that mean someone who, like, marries people and then they mysteriously die? Yeah, popular at school, definitely. Popular here? No. You know what, maybe you should go talk to that cult lady over there. So, yep, that's uh, not gonna work. In the end, we've just got one more thing to do. Well, that's already a good sign. Okay, how old are you? That already sounds bad. Um, um, well, we're not Joker, but... Kind of. Still a bit worrying. All we need is one number and we've already beaten Yosuke. So, what are our results? One cat and one possibly predatory woman. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's at least better than Yosuke. How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Yeah, when you run up to people in the street and start y angrily yelling at them that you'll fix their clothes, it usually doesn't end well. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Oh, wait, okay then. Well, you know, I kind of expected he'd beat Yosuke. A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know, what was she talking about? Um... How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Kind of. Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Please! <laughs> you're just really desperate for some evidence that your plan may have done something. How many times are you gonna beg? So you're gonna call her, right? Right? <laughs> 
Everyone's begging. I guess we have no choice. She picked up. Oh, senpai's the man. Uh, hello. Oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. How dare you hit on my girl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. You better not call again. Got it? I could hear him from here. Was that dude for real? I mean, she was kind of the one who hit on us, though. Well, <laughs> that's a risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? Uh, one more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Son, why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! Scooter, it's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? Well, um, you're... you're just... Yosuke. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. Well, you know. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything. And you're freaking me out. And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay. Just put an end to this suffering already. And so... Yep, looks like Yosuke got to have his up-close-and-personal plan after all. But at least they're hinting at something there, so something good came of all this. One day we'll be able to go to Okina. Welcome home, 
big bra? If only you knew what happened to us today. Oh look, curse paper. Like the kind of thing that's probably plastered all over Yosuke's house. And I think with that we have enough prize stickers to turn them in for a reward. We could go to the hospital. Or... We could hang out with Nanako, which would be the perfect antidote for everything that happens. And we have Angel, so yeah, we can actually totally do that. Oh. Um, well... This is not a great conversation to be having right after all that happened, but, you know. This is why the responses are gated off by expression, despite the fact that she's a child. It's to do with talking to children about difficult concepts. Yeah. We haven't actually done a Nanako rank up in a while. Yeah, I remember that when I was a kid, there were books that were designed to teach kids about this. Well... Well, I'm sure this is what she'd like the most to hear. Whoa, just one hard thing to another. So, the option here that gives you the most points is this. To be honest, that's actually not what I agree with. I have my own personal views on why evil exists in the world. It's not true. But yeah, this is important to say. Mm. He's making the place safer for you. I was gonna talk a little bit about my personal thoughts on why people do bad things, but I don't know if it would be too contentious or something. I guess I can just briefly say, like, I feel like the reason why people do bad things is because, and this sounds, this is gonna sound kind of weird out of context, um, is because we have free will. And I'm not saying that free will needs to be removed, I'm not being like SMT law or anything here, but I'm saying that all humans have the right to choose how they live their life, and because of that, there are some people who will choose to do bad things. But I feel like the best way that we can stop this, I think it's very important to teach children empathy. That's just my standing on this. I feel like kids need to know that when they do things, other people will be affected. And like if they're, let's say, if they're mean to someone, then, you know, or if they say, you know, take someone else's belongings, that is going, like, they have to consider how is that person going to feel about that? And I feel the sooner that we can teach children that, the... It might help. I'm not saying that it's the, the answer to everything, but I think, I think it... I just, I like to think that that will help in the future.